guys, this is Indian Video Game Collector Xbox 360 pattern over here and uh, today I'm going to unbox my new laptop which is Asus A15. I don't exactly remember the model number so I'll put it in the description but this is the one with the Ryzen 1400H CPU and 2060 RTX GPU and it's just arrived this morning from Amazon.in so let's uh, unpack it and uh, take a look at what's inside. This is done. This is done as well. And here we have the laptop. Let's remove the packing paper. Not much of packing inside. Like not, not much of cushioning. And this is a heavy one. I need both my hands. the Amazon packing away and concentrate on actually goody so let's take a look at the boxing I think Amazon has stuck a label on top so I'm not going to remove that but this is where the tough logo was here is an Asus logo and the box has been damaged slightly hopefully it hasn't impacted the contents but we'll find that out so over here nothing much at the back it basically says that it was imported by Asus India uh, Mumbai and it costs 1 lakh 41,000 not really sure why it costs that much after all the cashback I've actually paid 95,000 and what does it contain so it contains a notebook one adapter and user manual and yeah this is the model name FA506 IV HN2940 FA506 IV so this is going to be a black uh, A15 uh, so it says color is black plastic LCD 15.6 full HD uh, video RAM 6GB CPU as I already said uh, Ryzen, 49, Ryzen 9 4900H contains a 1TB uh hard drive and a 512 gigabyte ssd and ram is uh, 16 gigabytes 8 gigabytes into 2 ddr4 at 3200 uh, and then talks about the other uh, other axes like the battery and the keyboard etc and yeah that, that's pretty much it on this side this is what the asus seal looks like let's see what the the sides of the box look like so on this side uh, it has the usual serial number etc so i'll be uh, blocking this information out in my video once i process it and on the other side it just says asus so nothing special and on the top there is this handle thing uh, an asus handle and this has uh, the shipping details from Bombay to Madras, which Amazon did. So nothing, nothing much, honestly. And the packaging is pretty basic. Um, so let's open this Asus seal and take out the laptop. Seal is out. I will gently keep the box upright. I will try to raise it up. And we have popped it up. Let's see what's inside. So over here there's some more padding by Asus. Let's see if there's anything beneath that. No. And over here this should be our notebook. Try to take it out from with both the hands keep it aside let's take a look at the packing first so we have some manuals for the tough gaming laptop nothing much this 
talks about how to charge your laptop, how to open the display, basic stuff. And then here's the user guide. Again, doesn't talk much about anything except for safety and uh, at least some kind of uh, apart from safety and telling you more about what the ports are and how to connect them. It's just basically it's basic safety and connection details. We'll keep this aside. And there's nothing over here. I'm not sure what this was meant for. We'll open this up. And at the bottom over here we have a multi-volt 100 to 240 volts, 50 to 60 hertz, 3.2 amperes input. And output is 19.5 volts at 230 watts. So this is the AC adapter uh, that we have received with the notebook has a cool Asus logo and to connect to that adapter this again I'm not really sure why or if we really need a 15 amps adapter but I'll have to see like I don't really have a lot of outlets with 15 amps I'll have to see where I need to charge this but yeah this is pretty much what the packing is all about. I think can happily keep the packing back as it was as we'll not be needing any of this for a long long time. So keep back the manuals as they were. And close it out. We'll keep this aside and take a look at the main unit so I'll take out the laptop and we'll see what do we have so these are the infamous uh, openings so we have heard a lot about its thermals and that there is a very little opening uh, or vent at the bottom of the laptop these are some vents on the hinge as well as some side vent, side vents a usb port and again on the other side you have a charging port a ethernet port one hdmi two usb 3s one usb c and one generic um, headphone microphone port And the best thing about this laptop is this red lining that you see. I kind of found it cool. And this is what the machine looks like from the top. So there's the Tough logo. And over here you have some battery indicators, some light indicators. Say Tough Gaming. And this design is actually quite cool. So let's figure out what the military grade plastic sounds like. Sounds solid. So let's try to open this up and I won't be using it much as of now today since I have places to be. So we'll remove this. So here it says it has a 144 hertz adaptive sync and Ryzen 8 cores and this is what the keyboard looks like as a numpad and since it's a gaming laptop WSD keys are different this is what the trackpad looks like and talks about the specifications I guess not much says it's self cleaning as GeForce RTX and has a Ryzen 4000 series, Ryzen 9. So friends, this is what the laptop looks like. I'll power it up and try to check it out. I'm in a hurry right now. So I'll, I'll record the powering up on a different day as well as try to use it and uh, post my impressions of this laptop. So I've put the laptop on Hibernate now and I'll just try to power it on and see what happens and exactly how much time does it take to boot uh, or you know load all the state from the RAM uh, from the hard drive 
so as you can see during the boot the colors change the color of the keyboard light changes and yeah it isn't bad at all so as you can see it's already booted apart from Hibernate yeah, so that's it for today if you have liked the video don't forget to press the thumb icon and do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already feel free to share the video with your friends and family thank you for tuning in